what's going on everybody Just back out on the trail no surprise there on the lunch break thought I'd give a little bit of recap I was gonna vlog this weekend but you know what it was just it was a busy weekend just had a lot going on this year has just been a whirlwind so far a lot happening and you know what this kind of ties into what I wanted to talk about today but Anyway, I just kind of figured that I would update you on the ankle injury, so that's actually pretty good right now. I think I'm still a little ways out from running, at least a couple of weeks, but I'm walking and going about my day nearly pain-free. There's still some pain, but it's not like, uh, there's no limitation of the range of motion, and there's no, you know, significant sharp kind of stabbing pains or anything like that that's happening when I'm walking. Sometimes when I'm walking up a steep incline and I'm putting a lot of pressure on the heel and stretching the Achilles out, um, you know, that can, that can trigger it just a little bit, but it's not too bad. Anyway, wanted to kind of update today what the, uh, what the running plan is for the rest of the year. Like I said, I'm probably just going to take the rest of August off. Just make sure I've got plenty of rest and recovery. And if the ankle's good, the heel's good, there's no, you know, chance of a setback. But, you know, the rest of the year, I was trying to think of, like, kind of makeup races that I might want to do, but I didn't, uh, wasn't able to run my goal 5K this, wasn't able to run my goal 5K this spring, just with everything that was happening, like with moving and stuff. Wasn't able to run my, um, well, actually, I ran the 5K, just not nearly where I wanted it to be because I wasn't really able to train for it. Well, with moving and stuff, um, wasn't able to run my kind of tune-up half. Had to give up on this <laughs> half marathon that I was just running here in late July. I had to DNF that, which was unfortunate. So it's like, you know, I'm trying to think of makeup races, make kind of a secondary plan for the year, and it's, it's just one of those things where I don't even... I don't even think I want to. I don't even know if it makes sense to try to, you know, salvage a, a race season out of this. To me, I think, you know, the second half of the year, I don't want to make that about working hard and training hard and trying to get specific goals and stuff. I want that to be the, you know, relaxing second half of the year after putting in all the work in the first half. And that's kind of how I want my years to go overall I mean this might change <laughs> obviously everything I say and do is subject to change but I don't think I'm gonna do any you know other than some local events some local 5ks and there's like a five miler in the in the fall and I may end up doing one leg of the of the team relay thing that I did last year actually last year I ended up doing back-to-back -back legs but someone didn't show up um, you know that was pretty brutally hot it was like noontime too, but that's okay. You know, I might do stuff like that, more like fun events, but I don't think I have any real targets for the rest of the year. I just wanna, you know, run, stay healthy, have fun, and then, you know, in the new year, we start getting into that late winter, early spring, really pick up the training again and work towards another goal. I don't know if I want to do any marathons again next year. I think I might stick to the half and below again. But I say that all the time and then the distance calling my name. Like it really, really is. Like I just, I feel like I'm just due to go out there and just run a 50K or a 50 miler. I just, you know, I want to do it. I want to do it so badly, but it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense for me to do that right now. Um, anyway, I, I don't know. You know, I kind of want to. I kind of want to take a little bit of like an any surface, any distance kind of a mindset, kind of like Sage. But then again, it seems like it might be more reasonable to have more specific goals and more specific races for those goals. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, gonna cut off the trail here into the woods. Love this little section. Love this little walk where I can 
get into the woods and completely disconnect. But yeah, I think I've got a couple 5Ks in the fall due and I've got a five miler, like I say. If I do anything, I'll do a half in October, like right on uh, Canadian Thanksgiving weekend, there's, um, there's a half marathon. It's extremely hilly. It's not like a personal best kind of course at all. I mean, although I probably will get a PB there just because my my half marathon experience is pretty low and I'm a much better, like faster runner now than the last time I actually raced one. So I probably would PB, but it's not like, it's not like I wouldn't break that very quickly on a flatter time trial, but yeah, I don't know. Just, just feeling good. Just feeling good about the ankle, about the foot coming along, feeling much stronger, much better. And I thought, why risk injury? Why risk getting back into it and doing a training cycle too soon? You know, this year's just been crazy, like I said. So many things have been going on, and it's like, I'm starting to recognize that, especially not having been able to run, really. I mean, I did run that, attempted that half marathon, but really haven't been able to run much for like almost a month now. And so I'm starting to understand just how much I would miss that if I wasn't able to do it or if I was on a long-term situation. So, you know, because in my three years of running, I'd only ever taken two 10-day breaks. And one was because of injury, the other one was because it was like after a marathon, it was in August, and I just wanted to take a good like, you know, week at the cottage with my friends and just super chill, take it easy. And so that's what I did. And I, you know, took 10 days off. And now it's been, you know, pretty much a month and it's just crazy. Like, I don't like it at all. So I'm starting to recognize, you know, especially getting a little bit older. It's not like, oh, I'm old or anything, but you know, I'm not 18, I'm twice that. So obviously I need to take care of my body and not just assume that everything's gonna be perfectly fine. So, yeah, I'll just take the rest of the year to chill. But I mean, there's a lot of exciting things going on. Like we are, you know, we've been making some good plans. Um, I've been taking care of a lot of just, just kind of like random personal things and stuff that have been long overdue and just, I don't know, you know, life maintenance, you know? Like the kinds of things that don't make for much of a story, but at the same time, they're like, okay, glad I finally got that taken care of, or, you know, just making strides to, to make those little improvements in your life that individually don't mean much, but really do add up to some better organization. And you know what I'm saying. Anyway, got my new running watch here. Really liking it, uh, tested it out quite a few times. Just, uh, you know, just walking. And then once actually while I was driving just to like see how accurate it was and stuff. And yeah, it's, uh, it's great. Definitely enjoying it. Can't wait to actually use it for a run. But um, when I first got it, I had to perform like a service reset, like reset the GPS so that it would recognize that I was not in Europe and it would actually find a GPS here and so it did that now it's working perfectly it's great it picks up in the GPS really really quick and this is like a 2015 model Sunto it's like the Ambit 3 so yeah I mean for a bit of an older watch it appears to work perfectly it has all kinds of features that are really cool so anyway I'm about to get out of the woods here and onto this big clearing, this big field, and then, which is really close to you know the road and back. So I'm just gonna wrap it up here. Just thought I'd share that little bit of an update with you guys. Um, you know, hope to have some more content coming soon. Just kind of doing some random videos here and there until I figure things out. But 
Um, not going anywhere anyway. And once I'm back on the road running or trail, whatever, running, um, you're definitely going to be coming along with me. So thanks everybody for your support so far and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.